Lunchtime vocabulary. Dining with dietary restrictions. Hello learners. Welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into an essential part of daily routine vocabulary, lunchtime routines. Specifically, we're focusing on dietary restrictions and preferences. Whether you're planning a lunch date, attending a party, or discussing your dietary habits, it's crucial to express your preferences clearly. So, let's start. First off, let's explore some common dietary restrictions. Vegetarian. A person who does not eat meat or seafood, but may eat dairy products and eggs. Example sentence. I'm a vegetarian, so I don't eat hamburgers or chicken sandwiches. Vegan. A person who does not consume any animal products, including meat, seafood, dairy, and eggs. Example sentence. He is a vegan, so he avoids cheese and eggs as well. Gluten-free. A person who avoids gluten, a protein found in wheat, barley, and rye. Example sentence. My friend is on a gluten-free diet and cannot eat bread or pasta. Lactose intolerant. A person who cannot digest lactose, a sugar found in milk and dairy products. Example sentence. I am lactose intolerant, so I can't have dairy products like milk or cheese. Now, let's learn how to express your dietary preferences. This is important when ordering food or explaining what you like or dislike. I prefer. This is a polite way to say that you like one thing more than another. Example sentence. I prefer grilled vegetables over fried ones. I like. Use this phrase when you want to express that you enjoy a certain food. Example sentence. I like eating salads for lunch. I don't like. If you want to state that you do not enjoy a certain food, you can use this phrase. Example sentence. I don't like spicy food. I'm allergic to. If you have a food allergy, it's important to express this clearly. Example sentence. I'm allergic to shellfish. If you're planning a meal with someone, it's respectful to ask about their dietary restrictions. Here are some polite phrases you can use. Do you have any dietary restrictions? Are there any foods you can't eat? Do you follow a particular diet? That's it for today's lesson on dietary restrictions and preferences in our lunchtime routine series. We hope you now feel more confident discussing your food choices and asking others about theirs. Remember, it's all about respect and understanding when it comes to food and dietary choices. Keep practicing, and happy learning!